used to be a very hard person. I've become a lot more gentle now. I used to be very, very aggressive. If anybody confronted me about the way I looked, I used to attack them verbally. You know, I used to be very vicious with people. You know, and now I'm more a happy medium with myself. Now, I, I think when you grow up, you start to realize that, yes, this is a democratic society and you should be able to do exactly what you choose, but you're in a minority and there are a lot of people who are going to react if you dress differently. Most people actually grow out of dressing up, but I've actually grown into it. You know, I've had the quite reverse effect, you know. I've, I mean, the older I've got, the more I've dressed up, the more makeup I wear, the more I do things to my head. You know, I'm just more into it now than I ever was. I mean, I dress up purely because it makes me look better, because I think I'm quite ugly without makeup. So I do it for that reason only. And so really that's, you know, so there isn't really an image as such. I love anybody who can sing. Anybody who has a great voice, I love. You know, I love Julia Iglesias. I love Dolly Parton. I love Jean Pitney. And I'm always drawing comparisons with people. You know, I copy other singers. You know, when I was younger, I used to copy Stevie Wonder. I think that Stevie Wonder is probably the most ultimately best singer ever. There's nobody better, I think, you know, and uh, Mama Cass for a white singer, definitely. And if I had to choose another woman singer, it would be Gladys Knight. Definitely Gladys Knight as the best emotional singer there is, I think. And Dolly Parton. I don't really regard myself as a singer, more as a vocalist. I mean, I wouldn't say, I'm not a professional singer. And uh, I have a lot of problems with my voice. And so I, I take singing lessons, voice projection lessons. Because, I mean, you know, I didn't do it from an early, you know, if, you, if, I, if I did it from a child, I probably would be really good now. You know, I could probably harmonise with sirens, you know. But um, as I didn't do that, I've had a lot of problems with it. I get colds a lot. I work on it. <laughs> like Jen Rivers, you know, she works on her body. I work on my voice. No, I do, I really work on it. I mean, you know, when I'm in the studio, I'm, I'm very dedicated, you know. I don't like to be screamed at. I find that very uncomfortable. I think in a concert situation, in a live situation, it's fun. And when you go on, it's fun. I never really take it seriously. Although when I've been away from playing live for a long time and I get screamed at, I do, I do have hysterical... I get very hysterical, you know, I laugh because, um, I suppose because I'm such an unlikely sex symbol. I could much easier live without success than I could without a relationship. I mean, I would really crack up, I think. I need to have love. I'm desperate for love. Love me.